you can build a dock. I'm not against a dock, okay? I'm not against a dock, but how we're gonna do this thing is the problem. You can build a dock out there in 75, 80 feet of water and not come in to the shallow because when the ship kicks over her propellers, they're not little propellers, they are huge propellers. So if she's in shallower water than 60 to 75, 80 feet, she's going to kick up silt and lots of it. Okay? Well, when we have uh, bad weather, we have silt also. But that's a whole lot different story than when the ship is kicking it up. The trusters, they say only a couple of minutes. It doesn't take a couple of minutes to dock the ship. She takes quite a few minutes to dock because she's not a little 25 foot boat or a 40 foot boat. She's a big, huge machine out there. And those trusters go to work for a long time to side her up to the docks. Ain't no two ways about it. Ain't no two ways about it. It's a big something. The tenders come, you still got to get in the line. No matter where you're going, you got to get in the line. If you're going back on the ship, you still got to get on the line where there's a, a dock or where there's a tender. You still got to get in the line because you're going through security. It's not like old days. I used to pull up to the cruise ship and drop off my passengers. No problem. Everything was fine. There was no security for people coming in with bums and all that stuff. No, it wasn't nothing like that. I just pull up to the cruise ship. Okay, bye. Thanks for coming up with me. Uh -huh, you can't do that no more. You can't even go near the cruise ship. And the cruise ship people tell you, well, they spend a minimum of $104. Well, that's not true. You get one or two people, yeah, they, they would spend money, definitely. But the majority, they come ashore, they bring a bottle of water, they walk up and down with that. They wouldn't pay $3 to go to the beach, they'll walk to the beach. I mean, I, I'm a taxi driver. I'm a tour boat operator. I, I, I did it all, so I know what these people do. I, I'm not asking nobody this, I know what they do. The tenders, you could upgrade the tenders to a bigger tender. Yeah, that's a good idea. Good idea, upgrade the tenders, a little bit bigger, hold more people, and that would be great. But you still go back to the same thing. You gotta get in line. You gotta get in line, because the ship only got a door so size. It's not like the whole ship opens up, you know. It's the door to size. I used to say, Stick to what we got. There is other places in the, in, the, in the world that the cruise ships can't dock, and the huge ships, they don't have a, uh, they, they, some places they're not allowed to come anymore because of what they do with their propellers, such as in uh, Venice. They cannot go there anymore because of what the people said, nope, you cannot come back. Small ships, okay, big ships, no. So. We got a same problem here. We didn't tell you to build the big ships. Cayman, they can't afford to take Cayman off of their itinerary. We are different from the rest of the world. So we want to stay that way. We want to stay that way.